Metal Driver here, and today I am reviewing another Dragon Ball figure. And this time, it is an actual SH figure, or it's figure, and it is none other than... Vegeta! Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta from Dragon Ball GT. We get this nice window on the front seeing the figure, this image of Vegeta. Then on the back, we get some nice images of the figure in some action poses. But enough of the butts. Let's go ahead and open this up and take a closer look at Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Here we get a 360 look at the Prince of Saiyans in all his Dragon Ball GT glory. We can see some nice detail throughout the figure, and it comes with a ton of cool accessories, which includes his Super Saiyan 4 tail, which has some nice detail, some good sculpting. Not a smooth piece, so you do get that texture of fur throughout the tail, which looks really nice. And the tail is articulated. There is a hinge here. It is stiff on mine. Not sure if that's going to be the case on all of them, but you do want to be careful with that so it doesn't break and then there is a swivel here again stiff and then it does plug into his backside like so and now you've got Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta complete so it does swivel around and as I said there is a hinge there little bit stiff so again be careful. Vegeta also comes with several different hands in order to recreate some of his moves such as hands for the atomic blast, big bang attack, final flash, gallic gun, and he's got those exact same hands, but with pegs in the palm of the hands. So that is so that way you can peg this right into this energy ball right here. So that way you can do his final shine attack. The detail on this energy ball looks pretty good. It's got this translucent greenish blue, and then it goes into this whitish color right here in front of the energy ball, which looks really nice. The figure also comes with three additional face plates, which includes a smirking face. An angry face gritting his teeth, which by the way, mine has this weird chip around the chin area. I don't think that's supposed to be there, might be just a QC issue. And then he has one with a screaming face. Now all three faces are painted very well, it's got some good detail, and the sculpting is pretty good. Again, minus that one with the weird QC issue near the chin. Aside from that, they all look really good, including the faceplate that's already on the figure. It has this stern, mean look on his face. Great paint here. You got some nice line work underneath the eyes, over the eyebrows, underneath the mouth. It's a great representation of Vegeta from the GT anime. It looks really good. I like this. Also like this sculpting on the hair here. Some nice sculpt work. It's not just a smooth piece. Get this sculpted line work all the way. You can see that all throughout the front. Moving it towards the back. You see that as well. So that looks really nice. And this piece is articulated here at the bottom. So that way it does not hinder any of the articulation when you look up and down. And the color of the hair is a dark brown which looks nice and you get this front piece right here that goes over the shoulders that is also articulated again that's to help with the articulation of the neck and the head he's got this nice beefy torso i think the paint on the skin tone looks pretty good i think it looks pretty accurate to the colors of gt some good definition on the muscles right here and then you've got his red fur here on the sides and all over the arms you need some nice close-up detail on the fur right here the sculpted fur really good some good detail all over I do like the color choice on the fur. Then it goes into here, up by the shoulder area where the butterfly joint is. Looking on the back, again, good muscle definition here. On the back, that looks really nice. Again, that sculpting of the fur all the way around. His tail is right here. You can even see the sculpting here where the tail pops out of the pants of the ripped hole. Gloves look good. Good sculpt work here. I do like the creases that we have here, so nice. Looks very good. Nice paintwork, good solid. This nice light purple look. Then look at the lower body, we see good sculpt work on the pants right here. It's purple belt, painted really well, so it doesn't look sloppy at all. Looking at it all the way around, looks really good. And then the pants are not just a one solid color, you do see some different lighter shades. Again, good sculpt work here. You can see the sculpting of the muscles popping through the pants. So, nice and tight all around Vegeta's legs. Got his purple boots, sculpted really well, good paintwork. Good paintwork on the yellow parts of the feet. So, I am really happy with the detailing on the figure. Looks really nice, great sculpt work, great paint. Certainly looks like how Vegeta looked from GT. I think this is a good representation. So, even though it looks good, now let's go ahead and check out and see how good the articulation is. The head is on a double ball joint, so it does look that far down. It looks that high up. And then you do need to move the hair that is articulate, so that will allow for some extra movement there. Can turn side to side and tilt 
decently. The front of the hair is also articulated, so again, that allows for some extra movement around the neck so it's not hindered by this hair. I do believe there's a ball joint at the neck, so it can move. It is a bit stiff, so I'm not going to try to force it, but it allows for some extra range of motion there. We've got a hinge here at the shoulder, so it does go that high up. You can rotate it all the way around. There's a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, so not too bad of a range there. The wrist can rotate, and there is also a hinge. And then we get some butterfly joints, so it allows for some great range there, so that way you can pose Vegeta in some great action poses. It is a little stiff on mine. We get ball joints at the upper diaphragm and the waist, so he can't crunch that far forward at the upper diaphragm, and then a little more at the waist and then go all the way back using both points of articulation. He can pivot and rotate both at the upper diaphragm and the waist. The legs go that far out, so that's a great range there. It can go that high up. Up, oh, yep, there you go, so excellent high kick there. Rotation at the thigh, double jointed knees, some good range there. No rotation at the boot. But there is some rotation down here by the ankle. We get an ankle pivot. There is also a hinge and some toe articulation. And as mentioned before, the tail is also articulate, so you can turn it around. There is a hinge there, so you can move it up and down. Depending on where the hinge is positioned, you can also move the tail side to side. Here is the new SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta next to the Dragon Stars Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And yeah, looking at them side by side, there's obviously a vast difference. Clearly, SH Figure Arts is going to look better, but man, does it look much, much, much better. The detailing on the Figure Arts look amazing, and I do love the bulkier, stockier look of the Figure Arts. Which, yeah, you may say it's not a fair comparison, but I am really happy that I have the Figure Arts one, and now I can replace the Dragon Stars figure with this new Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And finally, here he is next to Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and man, do these look great next to each other. Hey, best buddy! F*** off. Alright, so I am absolutely over the moon with this figure. I think it looks fantastic. It turned out very well. The sculpting is great, the paintwork is great. I like the accessories that it comes with. Now, I was a little bit concerned because this is a Vietnamese release, or at least it was produced in Vietnam. And from my understanding, because I am just getting back into collecting SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball figures, my understanding is that the Vietnam figures have had some spotty QC. So I was kind of concerned that this one might have some sort of issue, but so far mine has not had a single QC problem that I have encountered. Now I don't know if that is going to be the same across the board. Hopefully it is. So if you do end up picking this one up, you don't get any problems with this figure, but I love this. I am a sucker for Super Saiyan 4, one of the few things that I loved from Dragon Ball GT. So much so that when I was a teenager, whenever I would play Budokai 3 or Tenkaichi 3, I was always choosing Super Saiyan 4, Goku, and Vegeta. And this figure, in my opinion, does a great job in capturing that essence of Super Saiyan 4. So I say it's worth picking up. Great figure, and I think you're gonna like it. And speaking of liking, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe. This is my second Dragon Ball figure review. I plan on doing more as the figures come out. So if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, thank you so much. If you're one of my regular viewers and you watch this, I greatly appreciate it. And if you want to see my first Dragon Ball review that I did, click on the card at the end of the video, and I'll see you next time.